This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. We have seen how the so-called uh, salesman covert operation of Mrs. Sabo around 1944 was so uh, effectively detected and uh, undone by the Germans in France and so many of its operatives captured and tortured in part because of the operation's large size and interconnectedness. And we have seen how it took the special operations executive nearly a year to get her to her first mission. Um, it is not uh, the, in the nature of, um, of groups, however small, to be rapid in movement or unified in action. Those sorrows which afflict bunchings are well known and put to good use by hostile occupiers. The seizure of hostages by aggressing powers and the many ways in which these are used against their respective selves, the dramas and breakdowns in interpersonal congress, uh, the inevitable affairs of heart uh, so greatly to be respected uh, but uh, so easily used uh, for manipulation. In peacetime it means, and is said so often, uh, I hate my boss and it is time I quitted my job. In wartime it means death. As Sinclair Lewis once declared, quote, under a tyranny most friends are a liability. One quarter of them turn reasonable and become your enemies. One quarter are afraid to speak and one quarter are killed and you are die with them. Uh, but the blessed final quarter, he says, will keep you alive. Unquote. It may be that the, the individual acting within broad parameters and without reliance on close cooperation or official resupply uh, and necessarily limited of scope or scale but also of encumbrance or micromanagement has been neglected in the study of counter-invasion expedients. More likely it has been uh, um, underutilized in the first place. We have few tales from history of an organized resistance to invasion <clears throat> centered on the initiative and independence of the individual. Uh, the frontier of occupy the franc franc terror <laughs> of occupied Belgium uh, come close, uh, though numbering surely under a thousand and perhaps under a hundred, may have made the difference between victory and defeat for the Allies. Their very presence, uh, more often uh, just the rumors of it, drove uh, the, uh, the Deutsch Soldaten uh, lunatical with panic and murderous rage, a sentiment he used to forfeit himself victory in an almost unlosable war. In one case, burning a medieval library in its ancient manuscripts uh, to retaliate against the mere rumor of a terror attack. <clears throat> I, um, mm, the terror, you may not, uh, I have provided insufficient background uh, on the terror, and I will, uh, I will endeavor to make it all good over the next uh, 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 90 seconds. Uh, the Franck Stura were uh, <coughs> um, yeah, the individuals in, uh, in the World War I who um, sniped at German soldiers from behind the lines, largely um, uh, oftentimes uh, the, the sniping was actually uh, done by Belgian army snipers operating within the rules of war, uh, but the Germans uh, perceived there were great numbers of guerrillas, and there were apparently a few. Uh, anyway, uh, returning to the um, 
returning to the uh, so against the yeah, again they they would retaliate uh, against the, the the mere rumor of a ter uh, terror attack. Je suis désolé, je n'ai pas pas bien français. Medieval library. This immediately this immediately began to turn the world uh, sentiment um, uh, clabbered and. It was that sentiment which brought the Kaiserist ruin in 1918. G.K. Chesterton wrote in 1919, uh, A frontier is, uh, is emphatically not a person whose warfare is bound to disgust any soldier. He is emphatically uh, not the type about which, um, about, um, the type, uh, about which a general a soldierly spirit uh, feels uh, any bitterness. He is not a perifidous or barbarous or fantastically fiendish foe. On the contrary, a fracturer is generally a man for whom any generous soldier would be sorry, as he would for an honorable prisoner of war. What is a fracturer? A frontier is a free man who fights to defend his own farm or family against foreign aggressors, but who does not happen to possess certain badges or articles of clothing. 2,000 liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. But there's a saying, my saying actually, united we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com